What we're doing out here this morning is sampling the oxygen content of the water because what we think has happened is that conditions have conspired to lower the oxygen content of the water to the point that it has become stressful for some of the species of fish. And we're seeing dead fish floating at the surface, other fish swimming to the surface and gulping for air that are still alive. These conditions, uh, they happened uh, last year on August 14th. So this year we got out early and we've been sampling since uh, May to this year try to get the conditions that uh, lead up to these events so we can better understand what's causing these events and then maybe come up with remediation uh, methods to uh, minimize them going forward. So the factors that lead up to this are high temperature, but uh, not just high temperature. We need a combination of factors to uh, do this. Uh, often it's low winds that uh, so the oxygen normally gets into the water by diffusion from the air, and if the water is calm, uh, less diffusion of oxygen into the water. But as the water is warm, first of all, it makes everything breathe faster and more, so there's more consumption of oxygen. So if we have less oxygen coming into the water and then it's being used faster, then we can reach these low oxygen co concentrations. All right, you ready, Tony? Yeah. All right, here we go. Time in 1156. The device where we've been low into the water is called a data sound, and it uh, is a computerized device that's recording the temperature, depth, salinity, and oxygen concentration every half second. So we lower it very slowly. We start at the surface, get a good reading at the surface, and then lower it six inches at a time until we reach the bottom, and then we slowly bring it up. And it gives us what we call a profile of how these properties change in the water column. And they can tell us a lot about the conditions that are leading up to these uh, low oxygen events. Nine, ten, and we're out. <laughs>